yeah, I'm Simone Radney from England and Nails and in this video I'm going to be doing something sparkly with flexi tape and foil. And maybe flexi tape and eye lac. We'll see what we come up with. Keep watching to find out. So I've decided to do two nails because I couldn't decide whether to do foil or eye lac with my design. So I'm going to do both why not so i have done my base color already and i've used i-188 which is a really nice sort of um real lilac light lilacy sort of color and i've also top coated it with the ultimate no white top coat and now we're going to do our foiling so I'm going to use my silicone pad, I've wiped it with my green cleaner as I always do to get rid of all my fluffs and that that seem to gather on there, so I've already done that. And now I'm going to use the foil gel to stick my foil where I want it. So I'm going to decant a bit onto my pad. Now obviously the foil gel is clear. So when you're painting a design with it, it can be a bit difficult to see. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a little bit of I-51, which is black, and I'm just going to put a little bit on there. You don't need a lot. I'm going to mix it in. So it makes it a real sort of sheer, real nice sheer black. It's just so I can see it where I want to paint my design. It just makes life a little bit easier. Even normally, I'd probably put less black than that, to be honest. You don't need a lot at all. So now I'm going to paint my design. Oh, and my foil, I'm going to use this brand new, real nice rose gold foil. The only thing is, mine hasn't got a name on it. And I can't remember what it's called. But this is the new one. And I love it. And I'm also going to use this holographic silver one but I'll confess I've dropped the pot somewhere and I can't find it <laughs> in my real messy work area and I can't remember what it's called I can guess but I'll probably be wrong so but it's the silver holographic one anyway so I'm going to use that and I'm going to use my artiste brush because first off anyway because I want to just get an idea of where I'm going with my shape so I'm just going to grab a good bit, grab a good bit of my foil gel and I'm just painting sort of whatever shape I want, wherever I want it basically. This is quite a long nail because I'm working on a long ballerina fit tip. So there's quite a lot of space to work with. I'm just going to block in my shape that I've done. like that so it's kind of like a sort of triangle but it's going off the edge and then I'm going to just make the point on that I'm going to stick it into flash cure so that the shape doesn't disappear so now that is flash cured in place I've just turned it round and I'm going to paint a different shape just a bit further up. So I'm just going to paint a random, this is like a diamond. Now I'm going to stick that into flash cut again so I don't lose my shape. Now I'm going to do one at the top I think and I'm going to go over, I've kind of created like a central line, I'm going to go over that. I want to try and keep my shapes sort of as much as possible, which I've, is why I flash cured it in between. But I'm not too concerned. Like I don't, you don't have to keep the lines dead straight. Okay, I'm just gonna flash cure that one, and I'm gonna put in another shape down here. I'm going to do this one going right off the edge and it's quite a big block so I'm just going to swap um, brushes to my vice versa brush 
just because it's a bit bigger so it's a bit quicker to fill it in. So now I've got those on, I'm going to stick them in the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds. So now that I've all just had a full cure, I'm going to use a lymph-free wipe and the green cleaner. I'm just going to come in and wipe over it. This is how I find that the foil gel works best. Don't know why, but it does. Right, and just let that dry off a second and then I'm going to get my foil. I'm not wanting to, because I'm using two colours, so I'm not necessarily wanting to do like a full sort of coverage on each section. Just wanting to like pick up bits. And then leave obviously some gaps and then you can, I can put my silver on to hopefully fill in the gaps. Oh yes, it looks really nice. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. These two foils, I can't press too hard, I want to press harder but I can't because the tip is only held on with blue tack and I feel like the tip's going to come off. Let me just get another piece of that silver, wherever it's gone. I've run out of my silver. These two foils together look really good. Right, so once you have covered in all your bits, with your foil don't worry at this stage if you've got like little bits of foil like that that have stuck there because we can sort that out in a minute you just need to sort of scratch it off oh i flicked a bit off there so it's not a problem so now i'm going to use the flexi tape you could hand paint lines on if you want to which is fine but I'm going to use the flexi tape and I'm going to use this one, which is a white, the white ones. These are so handy, I love them. They're so much better than that bloody Oswa. Oh, Sorry guys, that one slipped out then. So much better than the blooming, is what I should have said, um, striping tape. Oh, I can't stand that striping tape. I think that's why a little... Uh, half a swear word slipped out then striking tape it drives me mad oh my god so this is so much easier to use it goes on so well and you get all different thicknesses so i'm going to use the thinner am i yeah i'm going to use the thinner ones i reckon down at the end right where's my tweezers oh no Never mind, we'll improvise. I think I may have took my tweezers in the house. We'll improvise. So I'm just gonna just pick the end up of my stripe and I'm gonna pull all this off because I'm gonna use quite a lot anyway. So I'm gonna pull the whole one off. Normally I would just snip a bit, pull a bit up and just snip what I wanted but I'm going to use quite a lot so so I'm going to lay this roughly where I want it that went pretty much in the right place I reckon you can use obviously whatever thickness you want but it goes on so well I just wanted to move that over a little bit it goes on so easy, it's so much easier, like I said before, than the uh, striping tape. I'm going to use my silicone city tool just to rub over it and press it down. Then at the end, I'm just going to snip that off. And I'm basically going to do that around each section of foil.
on some bits I'm actually going to get a thicker one as well so I'm going to do a couple of different thicknesses why not and you can obviously put your tape on however you want you can do it going you know right over bits or outlining little bits it's entirely up to you that and I want that little tiny bit because I only want a little bit to go in there it is much easier with tweezers I would normally use tweezers so now you don't want to leave any little overhanging bit well they're big overhanging bits but you don't want to leave any little overhanging bits either because it can sort of peel up and obviously it'll give something for your client to pick as well so I've got little bits there so I'll snip it off as close as I can but also I'll show you what you can do afterwards to get rid of any little tiny bits. I'm going to go back to this thick one to go over here. So now we have got our design done. I've got all the edges covered with my tape. I'm just going to come along now and just see if there's any bits of foil that had stuck where they shouldn't and I'm just using my scissors just to basically lightly scrape it off. Obviously I don't want to scrape lines into my top coat or anything but I just lightly scrape it off and it comes off really easily. So this needs top coating twice so I'm going to use Rock Light for my first one and it needs to be top coated twice because we've got all sorts stuck on here with all the foil and the flexi tape if we top coat it twice it just makes sure that it won't come off and when you're doing this first top coat you need to be really light with it and just kind of float it over which is why I had quite a lot on my brush because if you really brush it and drag it you'll drag bits of foil off and that they'll go into where you don't want your foil which is really annoying and I'm going to stick that into cure for 60 seconds now that's come out of the lamp and my second top is going to be the ultimate no white because I love it. So shiny and strong this top coat, I do love it. I'm going to give that a good going over and then I'm just going to whack it in the lamp. And while it's in the lamp, I'm going to look at my other, my other nail. So this one I have done two coats of I-186 which is a real light pink um, I've not top coated it with anything it's just how it is and I'm going to use the flexi tape again I'm going to use the silver holographic one I love this one I love anything holographic really to be honest shiny shiny and I'm going to use some different thicknesses of this as well I think why not in for a penny and all that so this is just a different way of doing a really similar thing so I'm just pulling off a fine one oh. and I'm going to just stick it randomly over the nail then I'm gonna get it again right which side is sticky ah. and then just randomly place it again chop that little bit off there and chop the longer bit off at the bottom then I think I might get a thicker piece next again just randomly whack it over so this to be honest creates a really nice easy design as it is like I think that looks really good and it's so easy oh I've got all these little blooming bits I can't pick them up ha <laughs> ha I'm trashing the place oh my god they're stuck to my gloves I can't get them off get off I'm going to move that one because it's going to annoy me. Get off, get off. Right. <laughs> 
yeah I love that to be honest as it is I definitely wear that and it's so easy to do with this flexi tape I'm just moving these lines down I think it's so easy and effective this it's ace I love it but I'm going to add a little bit of extra sparkle of course Right, I'm going to get my silicone pad and I'm going to use I197. This is Pixie Dust from the Spellbound Collection and oh, it could be my favourite, you know, which is, that is strong, strong words that, because it's a really good collection. I love, I love all of them, but yeah, maybe it could be my fave. I'm going to use my vice versa brush and I'm going to pick this up and I'm just basically going to fill in a section in between in between the striping tape. Now because I've done this the opposite way round you've got to be careful obviously not to go over your tape but personally I find this an easier way of doing it. But some people will find the other way easier. So that's why I've shown you, obviously, basically two different ways of doing the same sort of thing. So if, like me, you find this way easier, you can do this with the foil as well. So you just stick your tape on first, like what we've just done. And then instead of obviously putting this eyelac in the gaps, put your foil down in the gaps and then add your foil afterwards. So... It's just trying things out and finding what works best for you. Because we all like different stuff at the end of the day, don't we? Angie commented on a post in the uh, Ink London Facebook group yesterday, I think it was. Um, it was just, it, I can't even remember what it, it was in relation to. to, to blah, 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 blah. I can't remember what it was in relation to, but she said, variety is the spice of life. And I feel like that applies basically to everything, and I agree, and it's the same with this. Now I'm going to just wipe that into cure for a few seconds so that it doesn't all move. So now I've flash cured it, I'm just going to pick another section. I think I might go for that big one in the middle, actually. Why not? Crack it on. Get a bit of sparkle in. I'm going to just flash cure that as well. I had a look at that just after it flash cured and I decided I actually just like it like that. I don't want to fill in any more bits, so I've cured it for the full time. And now, just like the other, we need two top coats. So I'm going to do rock light and then I'm going to do the ultimate no wipe. So that is both the designs done. And I'm just going to quickly show you what I would do if you've got any little bits of your tape, tape, can't get my words out, of your tape hanging over the edge. So I'm going to use a 180-180. This isn't a brand new one. It's, it's the one that I use on myself. So I have already used it. And you literally just really lightly file it away. If it's a brand new one, you can even use a 240. It's only literally just to get the little bits that might cause a problem. And obviously you don't want to file it loads because you don't want to break the seal um, of your top coat. But we've got two coats of top coat on there so it's just to flick off any little like rough edges that are sticking out. And that is it. I think these are really effective and pretty easy. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.